Well, hello everyone. Welcome back. Today is Wednesday. And if you've been watching the videos for the last couple of days, you know that we're currently sort of in the process of figuring out um, how to continue to move forward, how to refine the system, uh, hopefully to continue to improve um, this, this journey that we're on to try to lose 150 pounds. And so um, that's sort of the work that I'm doing right now. I'm sort of hanging in there trying not to gain too much weight, I guess, while we figure this out. Um, and I, uh, a couple of days ago, was talking about the fact that, uh, you know, we created this channel. We have uh, this in place. I guess I decided to do this because I have always felt that I need or that I perform better with external accountability. I think that's true for a lot of people where, you know, having the external accountability helps um, you know, just helps us stay on track a little bit better. And so there's a part of me that has started to feel like I found a way, like I found a way to sort of cheat the system uh, because I realized that I don't really have to be as strict with um, registering with like filming and what's the word I'm looking for? Um, documenting. Documenting is the right word. Um, with documenting, you know, all the stuff that I'm eating and therefore I could sort of get away with some things and that sort of like opens, opens, um, you know, a door, I guess it opens up a loophole that I can take advantage of. And the moment that I feel like I can take advantage of that system in that way, I sort of lose my commitment to it, or at least my commitment to it diminishes. And so I've been trying to figure out if there are other ways in which I can continue to improve the system and help myself be more accountable, or at least be the person in me that's making decisions at any given moment on what to eat to be more, a little bit more accountable. And so um, I was mentioning before that I feel that some of these videos are not as great for documenting food because I think it's very easy for that to get lost for the, for the, that, um, yeah, sort of like the, the, that information to get buried in the length of the video. And so I feel like I both want more accountability on that, on that, on that front to be able to, um, have that accountability, but also to be able to show it in a simpler, more straightforward way where, uh, it helps it helps me be more accountable. It makes it more difficult for me to get out of that sort of commitment. Um, it's easier to showcase. And there's also a record of it for my own reference, but also for you guys um, in the future. Um, and so I've been thinking a lot about it. I really have think, been thinking a lot about it. And it's still not a fully formed idea um, because I, I, you know, I, I sort of wanted to be, I wanted to be good. I want, I want to be able to feel good about that. I want to be able to feel good about creating that, um, which, you know, unfortunately does take a little bit more um, work as opposed to like the way that I started this was very like, you know, whatever comes out and I wanted to be a little bit better. So the idea that I keep coming back to is documenting and sharing everything that I'm eating, but not directly in these videos, but more as a short or like a, like a reel. And I'm thinking like an Instagram reel. Um, and I've been sort of debating that on a technical basis. Like, do I want to do it here as a YouTube short or do I want to do it as an Instagram reel? I don't really do Instagram. So I do, do I really want to take that on? And there is one thing that is, it, and some of you guys are going to laugh at this because it probably will make no sense to anyone other than people who have some kind of like obsessive compulsive disorder or, you know, something along those lines. I want to, whenever we reach our goal or, you know, whenever we, we, we get to the end, to the end of this journey, I want to be able to look back on this channel and see, you know, how many days it took for us to get there. And I want the number of videos on the channel to reflect that. A weird sort of numerical, um, uh, what's the word? Um, not synchronicity. 
symmetry, sort of weird numerical symmetry that I'm that I want. And so the moment that I start thinking about sharing these uh, shorts on this channel, it sort of, you know, it's, it, it takes that number away because the number of videos doesn't reflect the number of days it took for us to get there. So that's why I'm thinking more like maybe like Instagram reels. But if it's something really quick, you know, something that we can, you know, go through it very quickly, then it's a, it's a good way to sort of organize that information and it's easily accessible. And I think that it's actually a better format to showcase that because it's easy to get to, you get through it quickly, you know, there's no hiding it. It's sort of the length of these videos. Um, and I guess it'll also make a little more sense in terms of the flow of information, you know, as opposed to what we're, you know, sort of what we're doing here um, is a little bit deeper. It's a little more meaningful, I guess. You know, we're, we're trying to think about how I'm feeling and all of that stuff as opposed to the, the food that I'm eating. And not that there isn't a place for that here, of course, because there are a lot of emotions and feelings around food and all of that stuff. But if we're talking about specifically being able to document and showcase, you know, today is Thursday and I ate this and this and this and that, this, this is what the numbers look like, bam, 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 bam. It's a better way to organize that information. And I think it'll help me be, I feel like it just, it'll be a, a, a more, another motivating factor, you know, and it won't be as easy to sort of cheat that, you know, and, and sort of bury that information in the videos, but it'll be very clear and very easy to get through it and realize, did we do good or did we not? And so I'm thinking that that's going to be the case, you know, what the final format, you know, eventually looks like, I guess that remains to be seen a little bit, but, um, it's probably going to be that. We're going to sort of be, start separating. And I know that I'm creating more work for myself and you know, we'll, we'll have to wait and see what that looks like. Um, you know, we have to be mindful of that. But I feel like that, I don't know, it just feels right. It feels like that's a better way to go about this, to be able to document it in a format that is appropriate for the kind of information that we're trying to share. So. Um, that's what I'm going to be, you know, continue to work on. Uh, I feel like this, you know, the project keeps getting bigger and it probably will be, but I think that's also kind of the point. So let's leave it at that for now. Um, thank you guys again for hanging with me and sort of being here as we work through some of these thoughts and ideas on weight loss that in a lot of ways don't really have a lot to do with the specifics of weight loss, but more the you know, mental health and sort of emotional aspects and the systems that we're using to try to be successful at it. So thank you. See you tomorrow.